Well, hello, my name is Jim Sunderworth from my swing here at the house. <laughs> As you well know, I'm sure, or maybe this is your first time tuning in. That's good. We're talking about something that can change your life. We're talking about something that can change your destiny. We're talking about something that can give you confidence and yet allows you to walk in humility. Um, we're talking about something that I believe is so, so important that I have to say, I don't see a whole lot of it going on nowadays, especially around uh, amongst our young people. And I think if we could ever get this thing, our nation, I really believe our nation could change if people could understand. What am I talking about? I'm talking about four very important things. Wisdom, God says it's a principal thing, and all you're getting, get wisdom, the ability to, to see consequences and skillfully maneuver through life, not embarrassing yourself and causing distress in others. And that comes from God as he gives you the ability to see um, this is the way walk you in it. And then we, we talked about the fact that, that uh, favor is so important. You pray for wisdom, you pray for favor, and you pray and then you choose humility. Now, humility is, is um, the, it's, it's, an, it's an amazing thing. It's the, it's, the, it's the opposite of conceit. It's the opposite of pride. It's, it's the opposite of uh, saying, look at me all the time. I've got all the answers. Um, you know, people that are prideful never hardly listen at all. They're always talking. And, and, and therefore, <laughs> you know, when you're talking, you're not learning anything. <laughs> so if you be still and humble yourself and work as Christ did. Now, I, you know, what I want to point out today is I found this in Philippians, in Philippians, the second chapter. It's very, very important. Therefore, if there be any uh, comfort, consolation in Christ, he says, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the spirit, if any affection and mercy fulfill my joy by being like minded. You know, a lot of times people can't be like minded because they're too proud. They think they got a better idea. But God says the idea is, hey, listen, <laughs> we're, we're not in manufacturing. We're in promotion and, and production. We're in uh, listening to uh, God and doing what he tells us to do, and that would unify us. So it's very important that we, we have to be humble or we, we won't listen. Having the same love, being in one accord and one mind. I'll tell you what, it, it, if you're playing in an orchestra, you've got to be humble. Or, or you just can't play anything you want to at any time you want to play it. You have to humble yourself underneath the direction of the conductor and the direction of that music. And that's the way it is with, with God uh, and in relationship with Him. He, he makes beautiful music through all of us as our instruments, first of all, are tuned, and that comes through wisdom, and that comes through a submission to God's will. And then uh, favor comes because you practice your instrument enough to where people like to hear you, and they give you favor because of what, what you've um, developed in your life. And then the humility is being able to come underneath the direction of the director and under the direction of the music. I mean, can you imagine a tuba that uh, a tuba player that's too proud of his and, and won't come under authority? Oh, what a mess that would make, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? <laughs> Anyway, so what we're talking about today, and we talked about yesterday, was the humility. So Jesus, listen to what it says. Let nothing, let nothing, this is coming from the Word. It says, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Whoa. Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but to the interest of others. Now that takes humility. You could just that that I'm telling you what it takes God to do that. It takes God. That's why you have to submit yourself to Him and ask for His wisdom and ask for His favor. And and then it says, then let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, who being in the yeah, man, somebody had to be proud of and be in the form of God. Yeah. yeah, being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but He made Himself of no reputation, humility. Taken on the form of a bondservant, humility, and becoming in the likeness of man, humility, and being found in the appearance of man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Humility, Christ likeness, thinking of others, putting others in front of yourself, letting God use you as an instrument of his grace, being the glove that God uses to fill you with mercy and, and, and grace and his glory and being on one purpose and that's to bring honor, being a vessel of honor to bring glory to God 
and to and to encourage his creation everyone god created and loves very very much and when you love what he created when you love someone and you're the hand extended to show that kind of mercy and grace look what jesus did he came down humbled himself so that we could know god even he humbled himself even to death and in his death he was resurrected into newness of life when you humble yourself god will lift you up i'd rather be lifted up by god than try to lift myself up because boy if i try then i gotta sweat to stay there but when God does it, you can rest in his provisions and walk in his confidence and um, be used for eternal purposes. Wow. Oh, my. I went over again. Hey, good to see you. Seek wisdom. Walk in favor. Walk humbly before your God. We're going to go to respect.